Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right, we get four cards. Well, not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, jealousy. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call or a person. Boundaries, still angry. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. And bottom of the deck, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Well, well, this is a record. Considering the starting oracle cards, let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies and we are ready so your energies guys three of swords well wheel of fortune seven of swords your person's energies the word ace of cups ten of swords Meeting energies, six of swords, five of pentacles. Focus on the page of swords, bottom of the deck, eight of swords, a lot of swords and a completion, but also an attempt coming from this person to win some of you guys over once again the ten of swords is about the attempt because basically the word as a completion goes with the wheel of fortune that's why the disappointment the three of swords this person may try to offer in favor of some of you guys a new beginning let's say but the Seven of Swords is the energy that some of you can perceive coming from this individual. You cannot trust them, basically, or at least you are not able to figure out if they can be deserving of your trust completely. And so the meeting of the energies is about a movement forward. Um, the Five of Pentacles uh, cutting communication, I would say. There is discomfort also because of the Eight of Swords and bottom of the Eight of Swords we have the Six of Pentacles that if you are familiar with our channel um, it's an energy that for me is about a fair and fair exchange in order to avoid uh, the one man up one man down dynamic. So maybe it was a factor uh, in a situation like this one. So. The not today oracle card is kind of the type of answer that this person will get when they can bring to the attention of some of you guys the Ace of Cups energy. And so let's try to get things straight. Um, the Three of Swords, I cannot make circles about the energy, heartaches, heartbreaks, sadness regrets, disappointments in the love arena, something that didn't go according to expectations. It can be a breakup considering this flow of energies. Um, a cycle was completed, was expired basically uh, because of the will of fortune, life cycles and life chapters. There is a mirror effect indeed considering the oracle card and considering the world. So, we are looking at a major completion, a chapter that is closing or closed itself. 
The Wheel of Fortune is an energy that cannot be rushed. It takes its own time, fate and destiny. For some of you, this is a lucky break, guys. Um, still challenging, so effort is required. But maybe the situation was not meant to be. Um, maybe it was not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, jealousy. Let's consider these elements as uh, potential factors. The Seven of Swords, as you may know, um, is an energy that for me is not aimed at the best possible outcome. I am sure that you know the drill, lies, betrayals, deceits. Kinda, we need to pick our poison when it comes to a situation that can be influenced by this energy. Um, maybe the connection was not working properly and at some point this energy can even be the tiptoeing away that some of you may decide to embrace uh, in order to release this person. So it can have um, a meaning that is kind of two sides of the same coin. Uh, behaviors not ideal within the connection between some of you and some of your partners. And then when they try to offer you a new chance, you will say thanks but no thanks because I have a set of behaviors that I didn't like uh, within the connection, I will tiptoe away, basically. This person, guys, word. The other energy about a completion, the word comes with major lessons. In theory, we can say that by going through the experiences, even this person may have the opportunity to learn something important. The question is, are they willing to learn something um, because basically the world offers in our favor the opportunity to raise the level of awareness, knowledge and wisdom in order to be successful in the following chapters of the journey. I am not exactly sure that this person was able to learn something because basically when they bring to your attention the Ace of Cups, which can be a brand new beginning in the Love Arena, the answer that they get is the Ten of Swords. And so it's truly the, the final call. And this is an energy that is about self-love, the Ace of Cups. Um, an energy that starts from within so that we can master the virtue and then we are able to share it with a special person. But the question is about the intentions of this person. Um, maybe they are not solid enough to uh, convince some of you guys to embrace a brand new beginning and you have your reasons here because of the three of swords and the seven of swords plus three of swords seven of swords um, combined ten of swords so completion and Still valid for me the point uh, about the fact that uh, once everything has been said and done with the Ten of Swords, a new dawn um, is on the horizon. The sun will rise up again. This person will feel the loss even more if we consider the Five of Pentacles in the meeting of the energies. So if it is about the connection, the connection was not built on solid foundations or the foundations uh, were not uh, strong enough then basically shaky grounds have called for the interferences that can be associated to the uh, seven of swordish behavior that were involved and that's why the uh, cutting communication the eight of swords guys can be the energy that was involved within the connection kind of feeling stuck in a situation that was not growing was not developing in a healthy way and at some point, uh, there is the need to find closure. And basically, then there is the chance to move forward with the Six of Swords, leaving behind rough waters in order to move towards scenarios that can be calmer, going with the meaning of the card, and more in alignment with wishes and desires. This is also a very quiet energy we move forward without making a fuss about anything. This can be extremely important because uh, maybe 
there is the risk to fall for petty fights or meaningless altercations, especially if there was a woman up, woman down dynamic involved. And so uh, the page of swords in the focus can be the type of energy that is about a simple way to communicate in order to uh, tie the last loose ends, basically. And this is also an energy about gathering knowledge. Maybe some of you have gathered the token of information, let's say, that was necessary in order to realize that this connection um, was over, basically. So no second chance. Let's pull some Oracle cards, guys, for guidance, considering these energies. Here we go. Time for an up. Well, putting a connection that didn't work too bad for good, kind of. TikTok, matter of time, goes with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the unfolding of the events may require for a certain amount of time in order to be dealt with properly. Yin energy, bottom of the deck, a powerful and beautiful feminine energy. About um, staying open, about receiving, this can be the movement forward, guys, the Phoenix Oracle card, uh, which can even go with the Healing Heart uh, card. So new phase, renewed transformation, growth, uh, changing a mindset even, and then healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Well that uh, depends but yes uh, this seems a scenario where there is a breakup and this person may try at least to um, offer a new beginning but the answer that they get is a negative one kind of saying we are done here moving on The situation will improve. This is about the Phoenix Oracle card. New phase, renewed transformation. Of course, this was not exactly a fulfilling scenario according to the energies, and so the improvements uh, can come uh, your way. Trust, well, it was a factor. Some of you couldn't trust anymore a partner, and um, despite how meaningful can be the ace of cups energy we were lacking one of the key elements in favor of a healthy connection not the right time a connection that was not meant to be basically was not meant to last um, shaky grounds a factor absolutely considering the five of pentacles um, yes feeling left out in the cold but also um, a narrow-minded vision of life and this can be a factor that can um, that can be found even in the eight of swords and in the seven of swords basically and again listen to your intuition it can be it can be a realization sometimes despite the effort that can be put in favor of a connection a person can realize that the situation is not uh, is not the one that they were hoping for and then we need to take um, notice of that and take action in order to truly improve the situation. So guys, it seems that the Wheel of Fortune is spinning and so new opportunities will come your way. Be patient if, um, if you have to, but then uh, again, new chances uh, will knock at your door. So I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.